Scientists from around the world gathered at nearby Fermilab to celebrate the impact of the Tevatron. Attendees kicked off a day-long symposium with a close-up look at the historic particle accelerator. When it was built in 1983, the Tevatron was the leading accelerator in the world. The nearly four-mile underground collider was used to send protons around a circle and smash them together at nearly the speed of light. Scientists would then study the resulting subatomic particles, analyzing the very building blocks of the universe. It innovated in many, many different ways in terms of technology for accelerators, for detectors, and of course the prize was that there were great discoveries at the Tevatron as well, which is why we do all of this. In 2008, CERN Laboratories in Switzerland built the Large Hadron Collider. The newest accelerator took over as the best in the world, and due to budget issues, the Tevatron was forced to permanently shut down in September 2011. There's no longer any colliding beams of protons and antiprotons in the Tevatron. At the recent symposium, attendees were able to catch a glimpse of the inner workings of the two 5,000-ton detectors for the first time since the Tevatron powered down. The D0 and the CDF are the two points where scientists observed collisions between protons and antiprotons. It was, in fact, wonderful to see uh, firsthand where that science originated and the experiments that uh, produced so much knowledge for us. The group also learned about a few projects Fermilab has planned for the future. Despite everything that the Devatron has shown, nature for us is still full of mystery. And of course, that's what motivates us. We are always, when we understand something, we move to the next step. We're always batting in the dark, not understanding. And what we're trying to do is generate understanding. Over the next 10 years, Fermilab has multiple plans, such as the Long Baseline Neutrino Experiment and Project X a new proton accelerator facility. They hope these two initiatives will give the lab a lead in the world of physics once again.